All right, it's that time once again for another Isle of Conquest, December the 4th, 2021. Looks like Alliance got four healers. We have two Cinco's in here for our raid lead. We got 20 people in here from the SAS squad. Let's go on up the hill here to the hangar. This was back when Hangar was still meta. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Yeah, right now, man, in the new expansion, the Glaives are pretty hard to kill. And plus, the Evokers can heal the shit out of them, man. And basically keep them alive almost the entire match. So, it's kind of ridiculous, man. Blizzard allows something like this to happen every single expansion. Give me that kill there. Finish off the Shaman next. Man, I miss Bone Spike too, man. Might have to go back to Assassination for that ability. That was too much fun. Let's take down the Hunter here. Reese on Hunter? Was that the same Reese from the Pally we know? Don't know. Not sure. Well, now we're going over this way here. Checking out the Glaive action. Let's see if we can one-shot the DH. Almost got him. Yeah, he's dead. He's going to stun and run. Try to run, anyway. He's going to die. Loot all the bodies there. And we got the Glaive going there. I'm not even going to break out of stealth. It's pretty much dead. Yeah. I'll go back here and get on this one instead. They got one more in the far back there. Yeah, Glaives hardly have any health at this point, man. A couple of hits, man, and you can take them down to like 30%. <laughs> that one's dead there. I'm going to go ahead and vanish and get some bleeds on this one at least before I go down after my Covenant ability is gone, which I also miss the Necrolord Covenant ability. That sucks. No more 10 seconds to stick around and fight something here. Let's go ahead and get my Fleshcraft up and go outside. Got demos on there. Do I want to mess with them first? I guess I'll mess with them. We got enough people over there by the Glaives now. One demo is pretty much dead. They're getting tore up by the cannons. I can't teleport back at the base, though, because I just teleported out. <laughs> I have no way to get out of here, man. So I'm just going to try and put more damage on stuff. Now we're going to check out the quarry here. Grape Kool-Aid, they said he's not dying over here at the quarry, so I'm going to come over here and help out. Let's see if he can, you know, survive some of these rogue deeps, right? Stuns are on DR right now. There's no point stunning him. Trinket did that. Now he's getting hit up from a few places up there on top of the mast too. <laughs> he's dead. No way he lives. Good night there. <laughs> Finally he goes down. Got a word that wanted to come up here and help. Got here too late and he got wrecked, man. Holy smokes. Jeez. Hunter, what are you doing down there? Shadow step down. Oh, now I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> Loot the body there. Come back over to check out Glaze. Got broken out of stealth. The Glaze? Already dead, man. I kind of wasted time over here, it looks like. <laughs> put my macro up in your face. I kill. Ha ha. And just put some more damage on anything before I go back to the graveyard. There it is. Now we got Demolisher coming up. Take out the demo. You're going to really just try to turn around and fight me? <laughs> man, some of their drivers, man, are pretty smart, right? <laughs> and it's a sitting fire, yeah. Yeah. We got a pro driver there. And it's a healer at that. Got him stunned here. I'm getting hit by their demo in the back there. Had to No, I didn't have to do anything to get out of that fear. Go back here and start getting on the demo so they can't shoot anybody up there. Hit pop evasion and flesh crab and smoke bomb here. Gives me a little bit more damage. The Hunter's going to put his flare down like it does any bit of good because I've already wasted all my stealth shit. <laughs> does zero bit of good for the Hunter to use a flare there. Damn, they got the Glaive down already. One more in the back. I don't have any cooldowns here. Just put some bleeds on it there. It's already down to 85%. Got stunned. Nothing to get out of that. I can't use a Hellstone yet. Covenant ability's going off, so I can still do a little bit more damage. Cyclone Chain. Yeah. Nothing to get out of that, man. That sucks. Any Cyclones again, yep. Pretty good idea there, though. But Cyclone doesn't actually make it go away impermanently. Here's a way you can get up the back way. Oh, someone just ran off the hill there. Oh, Bangle, you ran off the hill. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you go in a little too fast. I understand how it can be. <laughs> Take out this Glaive over here. Goodbye, number Glaive. Another one down. Got one more up there that's hitting up. I got vanished. Oh, I don't have time to use it, though. Grab a bomb here. We're already in their base. We're already attacking their boss. I'm already up there now. Got bombs from both locations. I would love for them to try to make a comeback and try to save their boss so I can use both of these bombs and blow all of them to smithereens, but doesn't look like they are going to try. They're too busy over there messing around at the docks. 
I guess to be fair, I mean, their boss is going down pretty quick. The boss has got a lot of HP buffs here in Dragonflight as well. And a pop evasion there from the Crushing Leap. But, doesn't matter, their boss is dead. They did not even try to come back to their base to defend. Good night, Mr. High Commander here. Another one for the history books. Beppel's had 10 at the top. There wasn't even a ton of kills in this match either. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.